O God, come to my assistance. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may be brought by his passion and cross to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. As the sun rises, may your hope rise up in me. As the birds sing, may your love flow out of me. As the light floods into this new day, may your joy shine through me. I come before you, O Lord, and dive in this moment of peace that I may carry something of your hope, love, and joy today in my heart. In everything, my first thought will be for you, my God. I want to end this day under your protective wings and may my soul only seek to please you my God I will have a soul anthem to do everything for God Amen Readings of the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time Year A Read by Mrs. Aurelia Sika Chibli and commented by Reverend Father Vincent Donfe of the Society of the African Missions. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, verses 9 and 10. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fowl of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsoria Psalm Our response shall be, I will bless your name forever, my King 
and my God. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever and ever. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. Second reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Chapter 9 Verses 9 and 11 to 13 Brethren, you are not in the flesh, you are in the spirit. If the Spirit of God really dwells in you, anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies, also through his Spirit who dwells in you. So then, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die, but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah! 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what is pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. 
Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Today, my dear people of God, the goodness of the Lord continues. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, the verse 18, Jesus says, The Spirit of God is upon me, because he has chosen me to bring good news to the poor, to liberate the captive, and to heal the sick. This is the purpose of Christ, to give life to the lifeless and hope to the hopeless. Christ is the good news itself. In the first reading, the prophet Zechariah consoles the Jews living in Palestine under the Greek rule, promising them of a savior of this king and Messiah who comes, very humble, that he sits or rides on a donkey, who will give them rest and liberty. In the Psalms, the responsorial psalm praises and thanks a kind and a compassionate God who raises up those who are bowed down. Paul, in the second reading, challenges the faithful to reject the heavy and fatal yoke of the flesh and accept the light yoke of the Spirit of Jesus. And in the Gospel, Jesus wants us to have a full rest from all our burdens. So he says, Come to me, all who labor and are burdened. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to be freed from unnecessary burdens. Jesus lightens our burdens whenever we approach him with them. He frees us and gives us everlasting peace and joy. But often, we fail to enjoy this comfort. We fail to enjoy this privilege that the Lord gives us. Why? Because we do not see that we have a friend who cares so much for us. We fail to heed to his voice, this voice telling us to come to him and have rest. But dear brothers and sisters, never be tired to approach the Lord, because he too is not tired to listen to us. Let us cultivate the habit of visiting the Blessed Sacrament to talk to Jesus, to talk to the Lord. Tell him how much our day, how our day has been. Tell him about our success, our failures. Present to him our worries. All what we have gone through he is there in the Blessed Sacrament to listen to us. So I love this poem written by Joseph Scriven to his mother who was sick. The poem is entitled, what a friend we have in Jesus. Indeed, we have a friend in Jesus. So are we burdened with a particular sin, this recurring sin? Jesus awaits us in the sacrament of reconciliation to come so that we will experience his love. Have we trials and temptations? We should not be discouraged. What we need to do is to take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Jesus wants us to rest. He wants to give us rest. So let us also take it to him in prayer. Do our friends, our relatives, our loved ones, those we trust forsake us, do they abuse us? Let us take it to the Lord in prayer, because in his arms 
he will take and he will show us. Let us not bear these needless pains we always carry around. Let us cast all our burdens onto the Lord, for he cares for us. May the Lord keep us safe. May he shine his face on us. And may we live always in his love. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suivez désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui, on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24 en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMATogo TV, Facebook, SMATogo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMATogo TV dans Play Store. Foi, éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. Imaginez la SMATogo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. Thank you.